What's going on, leather fans? You know who this is? And if you don't know who this is, you're about to know who this is. Nomenclature here again. Happy New Year to all my subscribers and viewers. It's January 1st, 2018. Crazy. Anyway, today, another 5 and 5 video. And it's going to be on this little guy right here. This is a 2012... Uh, small briefcase and this is uh, one of three bags in the collection that gets a lot a lot of attention the other one is this uh, large water bag with a four-sided insert and the other one of course is the the uh, tobacco tank and this little guy has seen all kinds of stuff in its uh, in its short life so anyway let's get started on this one so one thing that you guys are going to uh, notice about the 5 and 5, the number one thing pretty much for every every bag that I'm going to, to do the 5 and 5 on, number one will always be the same, aesthetics, the way the way they look. I, I buy these things partly because of the way they look and the utility and the, and the, the functionality and whatnot, but a lot of it is, is just the aesthetics. So this one um, is just a cool looking bag. It's obviously the small uh, briefcase. So it's kind of the, the mini version of some of the larger versions. They do make a, a medium, a large, and an extra large. And I do have the extra large. I did have a medium at one point. Um, just didn't much care for, for it. Now I'll get into that actually in this video. Um, so the aesthetics, obviously a very cool looking bag. Um, and it's got some really, really, hope it can pick it up, some nice patina here on the back. You can see that the bag itself has a, you can see right there, a, a suede texture to it. But the back flap here, uh, back pocket is completely patina just from carrying. So really nice. And this particular one, the second thing that I like about it, again, this this is specific to this one. Um, it has the suede lining, the optional suede lining. The Saddleback Leather does not offer the cow suede lining as an option anymore. I think they discontinued it in 2014, I believe. So that suede lining is just awesome. Awesome. And the back little pocket flap here is also suede, so it's very pliable. It's not like that, the hard or the slick pigskin as people call it um, that is kind of a plasticky this one is just a piece of suede so it's really really nice but that suede lining is what really what sold me on this particular bag and the lady that I bought it from had just posted a picture of the bag and then I sent her a private message with an offer and she upped the offer we met in the middle and then she shipped me the bag so always remember that you know uh Sometimes people don't know they want to sell something until you make them an offer. So if you see something out there that you like, make an offer. It can't hurt. And so we got the aesthetics. We got the cool suede lining. And the other thing I like about this particular design, the small briefcase as opposed to the medium, large, and extra large, it does not have the, um, the divider here in the center. Now my extra large and the other sizes as well, have a, a divider that goes here in the center and then it has two pockets on the front side of the divider and I don't know that's I guess it works well on the larger bags but on this one I think it would it would be a hindrance to the uh, to the compartment the compartment isn't very big to begin with so it would cut down on some of the utility if you had one in here so I'm glad Saddleback did not put that in there it's one thing I do like about it all right that was number three number four is the weight Saddleback items, just, you know, because of the construction, you can see the uh, how much, like, leather is gathered there, and it is uh, full-grain leather, and blah, blah, blah. We all know that good stuff. But this one, because it is fairly small, it's, it's very lightweight, which is kind of cool. So that's one thing that I really, really uh, like about this bag. It, you can carry this all day on a day trip and not even think twice about it. And then number five... This is probably aesthetics, I guess, but it's a little more specific than that. So these buckles, or the, the belts, 
with the buckle. This keeper right here, this loop, I guess the way, well, probably just the way the, the belt is is uh, put through the, uh, through the bag itself. The uh, little loop here keeps the buckle or this portion of the belt that holds a buckle in the upright position. A lot of these bags, this portion right here will be out and then it folds over and it looks really, really sloppy. My extra large is like that. And I guess if I just put these belts down a little bit further, it'll, it'll keep that from happening. But uh, when I got this bag, it was like that and I thought that was very cool. Now these things will fold over, but the belt itself is not poking out enough to fold over. So that's just kind of a... Uh, just a, a personal preference probably but it just looks so much cleaner when those belts are in the upright position and, and cannot fold over that might be nitpicking but it's uh one thing that appealed to me with with this particular bag now five things that i do not like and again this is probably some nitpicking so the rear pocket which is um on all of the saddleback uh briefcases this particular one, because the bag itself is not very large, um, not a whole lot of utility for this pouch. I don't think that my iPad case will actually fit in there. And if it does, it's probably going to be a really, really tight fit and probably cause some discoloration out here, which is not a bad thing on the leather from the... I think this has some pull-up on it. Um, but anyway, this, uh, this rear pocket is good for, for documents. Um, not good for a whole lot of other things. Maybe one of the, maybe a journal cover could fit back there. But it's just, there's not very much utility. And it's not really the fault of the bag. It's just, this is the size of the bag. Uh, but that's one thing that, I, I guess, if Saddleback could deviate a little bit from the construction and have a little bit of material or le leather gathered here to where it would, it would bow out a little bit, it'd be a little more useful. But that's, again, that's nitpicking. But it is one of the things that I don't particularly like about it. And the other thing, number two, is as you can see, this has the provision for the uh, putting this into backpack mode. Just like most of the uh, non-backpack bags from Saddleback. But the, the strap only has one shoulder pad with it. And it's a little bit smaller shoulder pad than what comes on some of the uh, the other thing, other uh, bags. I believe it's smaller. Uh, but it doesn't come with two of these. Now, maybe in 2012 they did not come with two. Or maybe when I bought the bag, the other, the other shoulder pad was not included. So any of you Saddleback historians out there, if you know the answer to that question, whether this came orig originally came with two or not, let me know. But mine only has one. Yet it, it's set up for backpack mode. And this obviously will, shit, will sit on one on your right shoulder, one on your left shoulder. Um, don't know that I'd necessarily want to carry this in backpack mode because it is kind of small on an, on an average adult male. I think it might look kind of silly uh, on a smaller framed male or a smaller framed female or even a, even a uh, let's say, a, a, a teenager. Um, I think it would look really, really cool. But like on me, I think it looked fairly silly. Anyway, so let me know, guys, if, if this was supposed to come with two. Because mine only has one. And then the um, the size. So one of the things that I kind of hinted on, on the things I like is the size. And also, the size is, it is very cool. Because it is small and it is lightweight and it carries enough things for like a, a day trip uh, out and about but I wish it was a little bit just slightly larger it would be really nice if they made one of these in the size of the medium but that did not have that center divider here I had a medium uh, in dark coffee brown a few years ago and the, that center divider just wasn't working for me. It, it, it cut down, for me, it cut down on the utility of the bag. So I, I sold that um, not too long after I bought it. But if this was just slightly larger, again, about the medium size with no divider, that'd be great. And, oh, the other thing that we see internally here, most 
not all, but most of the saddleback bags have what I call the, the key leash. So it's a piece of leather, a little, little shoestring piece of leather with a, um, like a dog leash clasp on the end of it for your, I, I always use it for my keys. But the smalls, as you can see, they do not come with that. And I'm not sure why. I don't know what the, what the reasoning was behind that. Um, but it'd be nice to have that because I, I like to put my keys on, on that. Um, and then the last thing, number five, that I dislike is this side pocket. Now the side pocket, it, it's cool that it has a side pocket, but it's, well, you can't really tell here, but it's fairly flat against the body of the bag. If it was bowed out a little bit, kind of like this right here on the messenger, It'd just be more useful. Now it can come out like this because it pushes the body that way. Um, but if it was just bowed out just a little bit more, had a little bit more material right here, it would be a little more useful. You can you can squash a um, like a water bottle in there. Um, but if it was out a little more, you could put other things in there. Um, again, this is really really nitpicking because this is one of the coolest bags in the collection. Like I said, it's one that gets probably the most attention and uh, after that of course is the uh the tank and that tobacco uh water bag that's the big one the 24 inch with the four-sided insert um anyway so that's the five and five on this little guy right here and if you follow the channel you know this thing's been kind of back and forth and i've tried to sell it tried to give it away um i've had a I've had a, at least one really ridiculous offer for this thing. Uh, somebody like me is the one that was was uh, offering to buy this. And by me, I mean it's a, a collector that would pay more than other people would and would pay a price that most people would think is just ridiculous. But if you want this for your collection, of course you're going to, and you have the means, you'll, you'll pay a little bit more to get something like this. This is just a really, really cool bag. And what really sets it off is the uh, the suede. And the collector that was offering me a crazy amount of money wanted it because of, specifically because of this suede. But anyway, um, it's here to stay. It's in the collection. It's, uh, it's currently the pinnacle of the collection. So that is the 5 and 5 on the Saddleback Leather Small Satchel. And if you guys uh, want to see a 5 and 5 on something else in the collection, let me know. If I don't hear from you guys, then I will, I will pick something to do a 5 and 5 on. Alright, thanks for watching.